good morning another good morning being retired every morning seems to be much better morning and the day goes by much faster much faster just flies by um but anyway today on Nichols retirement empire we're going to go to tractor supply um because if you're going to build an empire you need supplies so I'm going to continue to build the empire pick up some supplies today i believe we are looking for some canning items that allegedly are on sale so me and the wife are going to go down get us some canning items so she's going to do some canning this summer um so we'll see how um this turns out what kind of adventure this is going to be now of course i'm going to take the truck because there's nothing more embarrassing then going down to Tractor Supply and pull up in a 1999 Lincoln Town Car. Um, that just doesn't work. You got to go in a truck. Now, um, you know, it is a Toyota. I understand that, and I'm kind of ashamed that I'm not pulling up down there in a Ford or a Chevy. But um, I'm done with Chevy. Um, I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. I'll have to tell that story later, but I will not drive another Chevy product the rest of my life. And I want you to look at this. Why? I mean, that's in my grass. Man, my daughters cannot drive. They have run over everything in my yard. I'm gonna have to show you all that later, but they have run over. I mean, it's just unbelievable what all they have hit. See that right there? That was a steak and shake. Now we're in the grass. I don't like people parking in my grass. Okay, there's already a problem. I got on the wrong clothes. I don't have on any boots. I got on tennis shoes and shorts. Uh, I'm going to go anyway. And I hope nobody makes fun of me while I'm there or says anything to me about my clothes. I don't have my boots on and stuff. So, but anyway, we're on the way. All right, now, since we're going to tractor supply, I need to get in the mood. So, I'm going to turn on some, uh, uh, let's see, some Dwight Yoakam. Yeah, that's it right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't even have, uh, I don't even have a hat. I mean, I got my Georgia hat, but I can't wear my Georgia hat with my Alabama shirt. I'm gonna look like an idiot. I have to keep those separate. Now, I gotta tell you, I get nervous when I go down to Tractor Supply. I don't know why I don't feel like I'm, I mean, I grew up in the country. I, I mean, where I lived was like 20 miles from, we were out in the middle of nowhere. We really were. And, uh, but when I go into Tractor Supply, I just do not feel country enough to go in there. Uh, I feel like I'm a big city boy. For some reason, there's nobody here this morning. Weird, I guess they're all out working. Because they're not retired like me. The first bad sign is she got a buggy. She got a buggy. So she'll put stuff in there. Um, I would buy everything in here. If there's ever an apocalypse, I'm coming straight to Tractor Supply. I mean, because they got everything. And I want to buy it all. So I guess the apocalypse, you just go get stuff. So uh, this is where I'm coming to. I probably shouldn't have said that. Don't put the pay attention to that. Because you'll probably try to beat me down here to it. Man, I sure could have used this the other day when I was getting all that free mulch with that daggone shovel like an idiot. This right here would have been the deal. It's $30. Uh, never mind. There's a steam kill kit for those of you that don't chew tobacco or dip snow. Because I can guarantee you now, you throw some tobacco on a bee sting or a yellow jacket sting, it works like a charm. Uh oh, clearance section guaranteed to save money i don't know why they have a little <laughs> i don't feel so bad about wearing my little black outfit now because they got a dinosaur little baby dinosaur umbrella why do they have a little baby dinosaur umbrella at tractor supply it's kind of weird i must look suspicious because they've asked me about seven times if they can help me and some of the people have asked me more than once i'm a little bit country I'm, I'm a little today. bit country. I don't have any makeup on. I'm very country. You're not doing the right. You're supposed to go, I'm a little bit rock and roll. I'm a little oh. bit country. And I'm a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> 
I ain't gonna say anything about them hoes. <laughs> yeah, there's this woman in here. She's got her son with her, this young boy. He must have said ho about 50 times. <laughs> He just, he just kept saying, ho, ho, hoes, hoes. <laughs> he said it over and over and over again. I thought that's pretty funny. When I was a kid, we were up on a, a mountain, back when we lived on Lookout Mountain, and my grandmother was up there, and her sister uh, was up there with us, and we were hoeing, you know, in the garden. And uh, <laughs> my, my great aunt was just going through there. I mean, she was just hoeing up everything now. She was like a hoeing machine. And so, uh, right. <laughs> And I was little, man. I was probably about seven or eight years old. And I said, Gene, I believe you're about the best whore up here on the whole mountain. <laughs> My grandmother thought that was the funniest thing she ever heard. She laughed so hard. Uh, but she was a good whore. <laughs>